Welcome back, everyone, to McTiss Plays Spellbound Caves. Uh, <laughs> I just tried recording this episode, got halfway through it, and realized black screen. So luckily I caught that um, before I started doing anything else today. But if you remember a few episodes ago, yes, it's finally finished. It is now the Brighton Library. Um, I kept this sign here as a remembrance of what it once was. And while we're hungry, I know I said this episodes ago we're gonna eat a puffer fish in the name of science oh boy is my hunger three poison four nausea two oh my goodness wow ooh, ooh, ooh. that's weird imagine wow nausea oh we're gonna be poisoned for about a minute here all right i better uh get to a safe zone so uh i finished the skeleton farm Got a couple stacks of books, and I've just been uh, one level enchanting them. Uh, this is one I combined. Um, got an anvil too. Uh, these are some of the ones I made. Um, I need to combine some of these actually, the efficiency ones, to get at least efficiency two. Uh, my fishing thing was very successive, but now I don't really carry that many fish with me at once or food. I'm afraid if I die with it. That is so annoying. When is it going to go away? Oh, yeah, some stone slabs in here. I finished that off, though. Um, that's pretty much all that's changed around here. So I'll go show you the skeleton farm. Right quick. Um, I literally just finished it, like, last night. Like, I was like, okay, I'm going to go play a uh, Warface now. <laughs> Because I spent like two hours working on it yesterday. It's all finished. It works. Um, I didn't take anything from it. Because uh, there's not much in there right now anyway. So I'm going to have to go AFK for a little bit. Uh, but yep. As you can see it kind of looks like this cage. I got rid of the mossy stone. and make, Put up these railings too. Um, and right now they're activated. So skeletons will spawn. But I also put off switch up. Off switches up here. Why did it sound like one of them hit the... Ooh. Ooh. That's not good. Oh, he dropped the bow. Uh, so I put these off switches on here using some of my redstone and redstone lamps I made. And it does shut them off. I don't know why he spawned outside. That never happened before, so I don't know what that's about. Oh, uh, speaking of bows... Uh, when I was fighting the skeletons that would randomly spawn when I was working on this, I got a power one unbreaking one bow, and I combined it with the other unbreaking one bow. So now we have unbreaking two, which is cool. Uh, but this is not an XP farm, it's just a bone and arrow farm. Uh, right here, same thing on top. Same on and off switch. Works. I ran out of iron bars to make railings on this side. I'm not going to go the whole, whole way, just like this, but above. Uh, so I don't fall off or get shot off or anything. Um, for those of you who care to know, this is what it looks like inside. I had to make the water blocks one block higher. Oh, that's weird. Uh, so the streams would go one block further to line up perfectly in the center here. On both sides, it's the exact same for that one. Except there's one more glass block. I just noticed that. That's weird. But, uh, one fun thing I like about super hostile maps, when you make things like this, like a mob farm, is if you were playing vanilla Minecraft, you'd be like, oh, I wonder what blocks I can use for this. Um, like, oh, should I make this in sandstone or stone brick or cobblestone or what would look nice? In super hostile, it's like, okay, what blocks do I have to use? I have a lot of cobblestone, so I'll use that. This was actually when I started to run out of glass. Uh, most of it was for the roofs of those spawners. Roofs, roofs, I don't know how you would say that correctly, but... Then there's a lava blade trap over here. This little excess on this side is where the lava flows. Uh, makes a lava blade above a hopper, where it collects the skeletons. Uh, I had to cut out this. This went all the way across there. Um, but instead I recessed it, and I'll show you why in a second. This was actually where our chest was, um, that are tucked away in the walls. 
I ran out of iron bars here too, and I <laughs> I didn't even cut down this uh, bookshelf here, and you can see how much I had in my chest. Um, but like I said, literally I just finished making this last night. So I think we'll take those arrows for now. Perfect. Now put this bone in here, we need that. So like I said, it's a lava blade, above a hopper, above a chest. Nothing fancy. Um, here's what I mean. If you look up, you can see like pretty much the whole thing. Um, but if I kept this walkway here, it just kind of like blocks your view. So I cut it out, recessed it. Looks nice. I like it. Um, and the best place for going AFK is up there, I would recommend. I'm probably going to dig a little hole in the wall again and put a door. Uh, so in case any skeleton spawn like they did, they won't be able to get me. So that's pretty much the skeleton farm. So that's about where I realized uh, a little bit earlier where uh, my recording wasn't recording correctly. So I'm going to... Well, I have some arrows, so I'm, I think I'm pretty much set for the next area. So we're going to turn these off. And yes, they do turn them off. I sat here for... 10 minutes with the lights on to make sure they didn't work. I don't know why they're randomly taking damage like that. That's weird. Oh well, it's not like it's an XP farm where it's crucial that they have full health or anything until the end, so. And I'll even sit here for a minute to demonstrate. Yeah, this is just slabs to make a caged look. And they can't shoot through here, I've tried. I know you can shoot through them, though, if you tried. But this is right at their eye level, so they can't shoot. Uh, maybe when they go down the hole there, they could probably shoot, but see nothing spawning. So let's move on to the next area. We've done enough dilly-dallying around in this area. Probably about five or six episodes here. It's always fun to get lost in a good book. Uh, I had to put up this barrier, because uh, when I was working on tearing down this spawner, a mob spawned and you want a zombie wandered all the way over here. I was like, whoa. Like, they were just, like, swarming up right there, so I had to cut this off. And as promised, we're going to dig straight through this thing. We're not going to deal with any of this uh, BS here. Oh. Oh, come on. Oh, what is this? Flint and steel? Oh, why? I never. Oh, look at that. Bye-bye, books. Yeah. I, uh, I chopped down enough books over there, so... I don't want to... And this also lights it up, too. Look at how perfect that is. It's going to probably make a lot of lag. Yeah, I'm getting below 20 frames right now, so... Uh, should I show this? Yeah, I think I'm going to show it. Just, uh... Hold on, let me check something real quick. Okay, so that's with the decreased particles. Uh, same FPS, so let's change that again. Minimal. Two better frames. Uh, let's just turn... Uh, there's no, like, complete off. Alright, we'll just do minimal for now. Ha! <laughs> what? Wow! Wow! Alright, I think we should make more torches, though. Because, uh, we're going to have to light it up a bit. Oh, hello. The lag is real. Wow. I'm pretty sure this is cheating. <laughs> well, he never said you can't light the library on fire. Hey. Hey, 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 hey. Hi. Where'd you come from? Hello. Oh. One bookshelf remains. <laughs> wow, look at Oh, I think there's a wall on the other side. <laughs> hey, hey, Vex, so much for your little maze. I bet no one thought of this. I honestly don't know. I haven't been watching any uh, other people play this map. Even though this map has been out for a long time, I really don't want any spoilers, so. I, uh, I want to experience it all for myself because I feel it's more fun that way. And I just got a steam message. So, uh, I'm gonna let the rest of this... Oh, I thought there was TNT there going off for a second. I was so scared. 
Alright. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure this is the end. I don't think there's any way out of here. I don't think. Oh, hello, skeleton spawner. Ah, that's where you came from. Alright. So I'm going to let the rest of this fire burn down, then we're going to come back and uh, check the damage. I guess you can say. Hmm. Oh, there's the wall. That was a cakewalk. Alright, I'm going to let the rest of this fire burn, and I'll be right back to show you what it looks like. Is that a pressure? Tricky, tricky, Vex. Tricky, tricky. <laughs> oh! Damn! Wow! <laughs> oh, stupid shift. That was my own stupidity. Oh, he still got me. Uh, Vex 1, McTiss 0. I'll be back. Oh man, I lost everything. I lost my good bow. I don't really care about the picks or the shovels or anything, because those are going to be easily replaced. It's just the... Oh, and I had all my arrows, too. Oh, that was a foolish mistake. Well, <laughs> uh, never to peek over holes again. I thought it was at least glowstone at the bottom. Uh, like, so you would just fall and die, but I guess not. It was lava. Silly, silly me. Well, I guess I can use this enchanted sword now. If I don't fear, I'm going to lose it. All those torches. All my buckets. My poor buckets. I always lose those. That's how much iron I have left, by the way. 48. Out of gosh knows how much I had. There's tons of coal, but... And I have a tree farm, so that's no big deal, but... Just a thought. <laughs> well, I'm definitely going to have to go AFK now. So, uh, I think I'll just go in there and get the wool real quick. See, this is why I don't carry all my food on me. <laughs> I think I'm going to go in there, we'll check the chest, get the wool real quick, put on the monument, and call it an episode. Be right back. <laughs> Okay, I'm holding shift now, but I'm not even going to look down. <laughs> not even going to look down. Okay, yeah, there's there's more than just this redstone. Uh-oh, block lag. I haven't gotten that in a while. Wow. That's a lot of redstone for just uh, one little piston. take that uh, yeah most of it got burned down too what is that over there is that a cave or is that just a lightning glitch we can take this this payment for robbing us of four levels jerk take that too is this a cave oh just a stupid lightning glitch all right what's this Enchanted leather armor. Good, because I just lost my normal armor. Protection, everything. Cool. Free chest. Not even going to bother with these stinking remaining bookshelves. I'm not that OCD. Just a little. I want to break them, but must resist. Alright, what's this? Stone two, two, Stone twos and food low. Yeah, this is, like, enough food if you were playing in, like, beta, but not anymore. Um, one of my friends told me I should do a survival series, like a survival let's play. Oh, I'm not going to be able to carry all this stuff. Darn it. Uh, he told me I should do a survival let's play. Um, the thing about those is that they're... They're kind of like a dime a dozen nowadays, like, everyone's doing them. There's nothing wrong with it, I mean, a lot of people stand out, and a lot of people just, like, copy what other people do. I don't want to copy people, but 
I mean, a lot of things have been done in Minecraft. I mean, I'm not saying everything's been done. People still bring, like, whole new, new and unique things to Minecraft. Um, I don't think I'm a unique builder. Uh, a lot of stuff I learned, I learned from other people, like Redstone. I learned from Etho and Zisto and a few other Minecraft players um, that are pretty popular. So I learned from them, and sometimes I adapt things of my own. I like building mob farms. That's one of the things I really like to do, and I'm, I, I guess you could say I'm good at. I, I can say I'm good at them. Um, but maybe I'll do one of those eventually. If I do, I'm going to wait till after beta 1.8 comes out. Is it beta 1.8? I don't even know what the ver version is called now, but Minecraft 1.8. As you can see, we're playing on 1.7.9, so it should be out soon. Um, but bam, magenta wool. So, also my, one of my subscribers told me I should play the corresponding music disc that matches the color of the wool we put on there, so I guess you could say that matches magenta. Uh, Mellow High, I like this song. button <laughs> it's <laughs> all right enough of that but uh oh I just <laughs> screenshot it all right we'll we'll, uh, we'll screenshot here uh, so yeah as I was saying I would like to uh, or I'll try to start a minecraft survival let's play after 1.8 which should definitely be out by the time I finish this map uh, and then Hexit, if you're a subscriber now, probably in the future, uh, you won't really worry too much about this or care too much about it, but uh, I haven't given up on Hexit, it's just I'm waiting to get a new graphics card. Once again, new graphics card, I'll be able to handle all those mods, and including Vanilla Minecraft, and get way better than 20 to 30 frames while recording. Um, so that's kind of like for your enjoyment also mine so when I record it'll look smooth for you guys and there won't be frame rate lag and be able to play at the max render settings and all this garbage that uh, a lot of people prefer when they watch videos I know I prefer it um, so yeah I'm waiting for 1.8 uh, because there's gonna be a lot of new block types like the diorite the anthracite I don't even know what those blocks are called. Uh, granite, I know. Granite's one of them. And there's chiseled forms and smooth forms and all that stuff of all those blocks. So, uh, you can play the snapshots now. Uh, but I think I'll just wait for the full release because there's some bugs with snapshots from time to time that can mess up things. So, yeah, so we're 5 out of 19 of the way through this map. Uh, and like I said, Intersection 2 is probably around, well, it definitely is around the Tenuous Crystals. But taking that wool was a cakewalk until, uh, you know, I had to fall down a hole, which was meant to kill me, which I discovered and tried not to fall down, but we'll forget about that. I'll, I'll show it in the recording so you all see that. Um, so yeah, everyone, thanks for watching. Uh, we just got the magenta wool this episode, finished the skelly farm. So all that good stuff. So, ooh, I always do that. I hate doing that. I gotta remember not to bring the mouse down. Keep it up. So, all right, everyone. I hope you enjoyed the episode, and we'll see you next time. Time to go to play some more Warface. Warface, yeah, Warface.